Judge Cannon dismissed the documents case, as you may have heard, in Mar-a-Lago. Uh, can I first get your reaction to that? I'm not surprised. It comes from the immunity decision the Supreme Court ruled on, and Clarence Thomas, in his dissent, said that independent prosecutors appointed by the attorney general aren't legit. That's the basis on which this judge moved to dismiss. And, uh, but uh, I had an independent prosecutor look at me. They spent months on my going through, and I was totally cooperative in and out of my house. And there were, I don't know, the last time in, there were like 10, 12 agents in my house for nine hours on a company, going through every single thing I had. That's appropriate. And they looked at me and concluded I didn't do a damn thing wrong. But my generic point is that it's, um, well, the, the basis upon which the case was thrown out, I find specious because I don't agree with what Clarence Thomas is dissent and or the Supreme Court decision on immunity. Former President Trump named his vice presidential pick, J.D. Vance. What does that tell you, uh, his qualities? What does that tell you about uh, former President Trump's values in terms of who he will surround himself with in a next administration should he win? Well, it's not unusual. He's going to surround himself with people who agree with, completely with him. Have a voting record. I support him. Even though if you go back and listen to those things that J.D. Vance said about Trump. <laughs> well, he said some things about you, yeah. Oh, no, well, he said something about me, but see what he said about Trump. What's with you guys? Come on, man. Look, the point I'm making is that J.D. Vance has, has adopted the same policies, no exceptions on abortion, making sure that he supports the new $5 trillion tax cut that Trump wants to give in the next administration, signing on to the whole notion of whether or not we're going to, he says there's no climate change that's happening. I mean, he signed on to the, to the Trump agenda, which he should if he's running with Trump. Who do you listen to on deeply personal issues, like the decisions whether to stay in the race or not? Me. Look, I've been doing this a long time. The idea that I'm the old guy, I am, I'm old. But I'm only three years older than Trump, number one. And number two, my mental acuity has been pretty damn good. I've got more done than any president has in a long, long time in three and a half years. 